Good morning, YouTube. It is officially October 1st, and my name is Bailey. Let's start talking about Preptober for NaNoWriMo. This year, I'm competing in NaNoWriMo for 2019 which stands for National Novel Writing Month, otherwise known as the acronym NaNoWriMo. So essentially, NaNoWriMo is a writing competition set for the total amount of the 30 days of November in which NaNoWriMo, a nonprofit organization set by sponsors, um, challenges young writers, and really any writer, to go and write for 30 days straight and book out a 50,000 word novel. And Preptober is the preparation process all for the amount of October in those 30 days in preparation for your writing process in NaNoWriMo so that you can have an easier transition into writing the full 50,000 words and for you to have a better chance at winning the competition. So NaNoWriMo works in the typical way a normal competition or process works. It starts off with you creating an account. Um, for you to have your NaNoWriMo account accessible and for you to be able to validate your work at the end. And you give a daily or as often as you'd like writing count of how many words you've written on your novel and just keep a regular update. Usually most people update every day just to make sure that they're on track and keeping to a set time limit to make sure that they are keeping on track and on time for that full 30 days and to keep them like responsible for their word count. And then by the end of November, on the 30th, you go back into your NaNoWriMo account and you upload your document that provides validation for your word count, I think. Again, this is the first time I'm doing it, so I don't really know other than what I've seen and read um, here on YouTube and on other sources throughout the internet. And then there isn't necessarily like one prize for the winner. It's there could be an infinite amount of winners, it could be everybody, it could be nobody, it could be five people or a hundred. Um, and the way NaNoWriMo works, because it's a nonprofit and set by sponsors, there are occasionally prizes from the sponsors, like I've heard about t-shirts and a couple other goodies that are sponsored with their sponsorship programs, and especially my favorite being a printed out manuscript which I think would be really great if that's what they're doing again this year. I really hope so. It would just be great to see that, you know, first really rough draft and to sit there and go back with a red pen and just to mark it up entirely just to really get a sense of where me personally, my writing skill is at, and I think it'd be beneficial for everyone, in my opinion. But again, it could be a lot of people, so they might not be doing that for everyone. So for me and my writing process, I'm kind of a detail freak. I've come to notice that over my many attempts at rewriting this novel because this novel has been a work in progress since the fourth grade for me. I've rewritten into so many different kind of genres and plots that I just couldn't stick with what I wanted. And now it's finally gotten to a plot point that I love, love, love. And I love it and it's just, my baby. I love it so much and I want to share it with you all in the world and that's the entire reason I'm doing NaNoWriMo now is that I can just really crank this out and feel good about it. So my plans for Preptober include about four more videos for the rest of October just because I'm new to this and I don't want to overload myself in preparation for NaNoWriMo and with school and everything because I am going to school while I'm doing this. Um, a couple of them being different kinds of um, outlining techniques and processes that I want to share with you guys and how I do it and I know it's a bit detailed in the way that I do it it's very backstory heavy very very in-depth information that you really don't need to know but at the same time it's good to have in case a small detail wants to come up and you want to put some of that symbolism in it or just really enrich the type of empathy you want for your characters or anything that might be important to the setting of the plot or anything along those lines. And so I have a couple more YouTube uh, videos planned including one about storyboarding and one on using a version of JK Rowling's grid um, choice that she uses and so stick around if you want to see those. I have a couple more in the works. 
And then if you're interested, I would really love to hear about your work in progress um, or your WIP. Um, let me hear about whether you're doing Preptober, whether you're not. And what is your WIP going to be about? Like, what is your novel for a full 30 days going to be about? Do you have an opinion on it? Do you not have any idea? Are you like me and rewriting a novel that you've rewritten a hundred times since the fourth grade? Like, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to let me know that you want to see more videos of mine like these and to hit that notification bell just to get notifications on the upcoming videos for the rest of October and for my upcoming vlogs of my NaNoWriMo process.